This is a Seaflow 4,700 gallon per hour bilge pump and we're gonna be installing my upgrade on it today for better suction using a two inch suction nozzle for a gold dredge. Our first step is to remove these six screws and this whole base comes off. This part is the only real difference between the 3700 and the 4700, although the motor inside here will spin this at a slightly higher RPM, so you're best to use the 4700 for maximum suction. With that off, we have access to the impeller and a little C-clip, needle nose pliers, don't lose it, remove the old impeller. Has a thread on face. This is your new impeller. We're going to install the base first. There's a seal between this and here, if you remove that, so make sure that seal is in place, make sure your holes are lined up and make sure the O-ring is in place. Line this up to here. We're just gonna thread directly in. If you hold it all together like this, once you get the first one in, it'll sort of hold itself into place. With these screws, you're screwing directly into plastic, so don't over torque, just snug. You can see the base shaft is now centered there and ready to receive the impeller. It should spin freely, at which point I grab this like here, line it up like that, and snick it into place. Do remember to put that clip in. If you don't, this will come loose. Once that is installed, this face plate nicely mates up to the pump on the inside, and on the outside, it has a bit of a velocity stack. We simply take this and thread this on the inside. This means that out in the field, if you need to clean debris out of here, you can just unscrew this to access it. And then, of course, your stock screen doesn't really have a lot of flow to it. So here we have a nice fine screen that you can just thread right over the outside. With that screen threaded on, your bilge pump is now ready for use. Your choice between the inch and an eighth bilge hose or inch and a half outlet if you're trying to run a high banker and you simply thread this on like that. All the plastic threads should work nicely. If you opt to use this inch and an eighth bilge hose, which is nice and light and flexible, you simply slip that onto your nozzle, tighten up your hose clamps, one on each end. If you've been using any adhesive on the build plate, just make sure you wash that off before you glue the two of these together. This is a functioning 12 volt gold dredge. It seems to be holding on to gold quite nicely. This is a subsurface gold dredge that goes with the other two files. If you'd like to purchase any of these files to download and print yourself, go to utmostoutdoors.com. I appreciate your support.